What is up guys, welcome back to the PC Swaps channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a $700 gaming PC build guide. My name is Josh, I handle a lot of the customer facing things like social media, Instagram, um, support for PC Swaps. I'm also doing YouTube and we'll be doing, I'll be doing YouTube videos in the future. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me. Um, again, I said this was $700, but I do wanna make a quick disclaimer about that. We did get some parts from Micro Center. And as you may know, they do offer some discounts such as $20 off a compatible motherboard and CPU. We did get some other deals from them that you wouldn't be able to find on Newegg or Amazon. However, depending on your state, country, um, and the ta sales tax, um, obviously in your region, we think you can build this for $750. This is also subject to availability. Um, obviously right now, some parts are out of stock at a lot of places, so be sure to shop around before you make any firm decisions on parts. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the actual parts and pricing of this build. We have a Ryzen 5 3600, that's six core, 12 thread, 3.6 gigahertz base, 4.2 gigahertz boost it's more than enough for gaming it, it can do some rendering editing things like that so it's a great value cpu and we got that at 160 dollars we are pairing that with a b450m motherboard from gigabyte we got that for 52.99 and that's with the 20 dollars off you can expect to find this specific board for maybe around 75 dollars to 80 dollars if it's available B450 boards right now can be pretty hard to find, so just be sure to do your research on that. For the graphics card, we have a 1660 Super from Asus. We got this for $225. It is good for gaming. It pops out a lot of frames on most games, well over 60 FPS. We'll be doing benchmarks later in the video, so you'll be able to see exactly how that performs. As for the RAM, we got 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz from G-Skill Rip Jaws. We actually got this for $51.96 open box from Micro Center. You can expect to find 3,000, 3,200 megahertz for around $60, maybe under that on Amazon or Newegg, depending on sale and availability. Um, likely you're not gonna get RGB um, RAM for that price, but we're going for purely performance right now, um, as far as the RAM goes anyway. Uh, so we'll move on to the power supply, which is a Seasonic S12. It is 80 plus bronze and it's 500 watts. Um, it's a pretty good power supply. We got that for $67.98. Um, we we might have gone with something different, but that's really good value, especially right now with how hard it is to find decent power supplies at a, at a decent price. Um, so yeah, we would definitely recommend that. Um, and 500 watts is more than enough to power to power all these components. We did get three blue LED case fans from up here. We got that for $17. Um, that's to go with our Masterbox Q300L, which is a micro ATX case. It only comes with one exhaust fan, so um, we did want to add some case fans because airflow isn't particularly great with this case. Um, but again, we had to keep it under $700, so this was this was our choice, and we got that for $50.99 on Amazon. Um, we also do have a two terabyte hard drive here. We're not including that in the pricing, just because we did have it laying around and we weren't using it. Um, we have this 240 gigabyte SSD from Inland, and we got that for $30, which is pretty standard, $30 for a 240 gigabyte SSD. Um, that's more than enough to get Windows installed, some games and maybe some programs. We do recommend getting a hard drive though. Um, maybe once you get some more money, you can put more into your PC or if you have enough money, um, you can get a 500 gigabyte one. Um, used or new for maybe $20. Um, yeah, so we didn't include that in the budget, but all of this came out to $650 before tax and after tax, it was $695. We'll have the exact numbers of all the parts as we go through them in this video when we're editing. Um, but again, it was under $700. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put this, put this together and we'll do some benchmarks afterwards. So stay tuned. 
Before we go ahead and put this together, I do just want to remind you to subscribe to our channel, like and comment on this video. It really helps us out to keep growing the YouTube as well as the site. Um, we'll have links in the bio to our site, the parts list, uh, all our social media and things like that. Um, but let's get into the build. Alright, we're back. Uh, 
we just got Windows installed, we put Steam on, we got um, the 1660 Super Drivers. We're going to go ahead and install some games. After that's done, we'll be back and then we'll start doing the benchmarks. One eternity later. Alright, so we're back. We just got done installing the games. It took a while, but we're going to be doing Battlefield 1, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Rainbow Six. That should be a good mix of popular games that people play to provide some real data for you to make informed decisions about building a gaming PC with, uh, with what parts you pick. So we're going to go ahead and get into that, and then we'll do the outro after. See ya. Here we're going to be taking a look at Grand Theft Auto 5 benchmarks for very high settings with grass and shadows on normal for 1080p. As you can see we're averaging around 100 FPS with our 1% lows just over 60 and our Ryzen 5 3600 and 1660 Super are maintaining good temps under load. For this benchmark, we actually use the benchmarking tool Grand Theft Auto provides, so it will be reasonably accurate compared to other benchmarks you might find online or other videos. For Fortnite, we are on all epic settings at 1080p as well for this benchmark. We average just over 100 FPS on most of our gameplay with 1% lows close to 50 FPS. On Battlefield 1, we used high settings at 1080p and were sitting around 95 to 110 FPS in game with our 1% lows a little above 60. It was, however, a little bit more difficult to benchmark Battlefield 1 with loading screens, which is why you might see slightly different results on screen compared to these depending on the specific clip. On Rainbow Six we are using all ultra settings at 1080p and average about 180 FPS with our 1% lows somewhere around 130 depending on the specific match. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the benchmarks. I think it's pretty impressive what this $700 gaming PC can do. It can run almost any game as you 
as you can see, especially for all new parts, minus the RAM, of course, that was open box, but it's pretty much new. Um, I do just want to make two quick points. I did install the stock cooler the wrong way, so I went ahead and switched that. The AMD was over there and it was actually blocking the RAM slot. And I think I installed the RAM in channel B. It still ran at 3200 megahertz, but it's recommended to put it in channel A just from gigabyte and um, based on the board and manual. Um, also, we are going to be putting a 500 gigabyte hard drive in this PC. We decided to keep the two terabyte hard drive for future use just because installing games took like three and a half, four hours. So we're just gonna keep that for future use so we don't have to go through the downloading and installation process again. And the 500 gigabyte should be enough for anyone um, looking to put some games on or any files. And I make that point because we are selling this on PC swaps. We're gonna be listing it for around $800. Um, which I think is pretty reasonable. It's basically about what you could build this thing for if you bought all new parts from New Egg or Amazon because we did get some discounts from Micro Center. So we'll have that link in the bio if it is still available. I do want to thank you guys for making it this far in the video. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking this video, or commenting on this video, it would really help us out. If this is your first time on our channel or watching our videos and you're wondering, well, what is PC Swaps? It's a marketplace to buy and sell PCs and parts. We offer a really easy buyer and seller process. As a seller, you just sign up, list your items. When it sells, we give you a prepaid label and we only charge 8%. So it's one of the lowest marketplace fees out there, much cheaper than eBay or Mercari. As a buyer, we offer buyer protection, all that good stuff. So we would really recommend checking it out. And if you wouldn't mind help, helping support our marketplace, Go ahead and list your things, or if you see anything you like, go ahead and make an offer or buy them. At the time of filming this video, we are almost done with our mobile apps. That is for iOS and Android. By the time you see this video, it very well could be out. So make sure you look us up on those stores. Other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day.